change. Fortunately, we have Emily Nichols from Indie's Mom's Blog to uh, share some thoughts about this. We make these promises to ourselves yes. this time of year. Absolutely. Time to shove aside all the stuff that's wrapped in foil and yes. chocolate and all of that. Yes. If not permanently, at least for a while. Let's mm -hmm. start with some of the, uh, the, the things that you brought us sure. here. Sure. Well, like you said, I feel like... Uh, after the holidays, I ate all the things. Yes, everything. Everything. <laughs> so I was really glad to have my kids go back to school this morning, get back to my normal work routine, yeah. get back to the normal healthy eating. So I have a few recipes that we're sharing on the blog this week. Just really quick and easy, especially for moms on mm -hmm. the go. I work from my car, so a lot of these are good to eat from the car. Mm -hmm. So the first one is just an overnight chia seed pudding. It's not the prettiest of breakfasts, but it's really easy. All you do is take a few tablespoons of chia seeds, mm -hmm. mash up a banana, add some unsweetened almond milk, some cinnamon, some salt to taste, and let it refrigerate overnight and expands into a pudding. And, and you've got it just in a ball jar here, yep, so it's easy to take along. Yeah, just in a jar. Yeah, like this morning at the bus stop, I could have eaten it in the car while I was waiting for the boys to get on the bus. Sure. It's very cold this morning, so but you can add some nuts, some cacao nibs, almond butter on the top, and make it a little. You've got, you've got a fan in Lauren already. She's oh. a big chia seed fan. Yes, so. super. Huge fan. Well, Number well, one. So much fiber, and it makes you feel full for, throughout the day That's as right. well. So That's one right. of the other second things I like to make are these cashew chocolate protein balls. Mm -hmm. They're super yummy. I actually just sent some off to um, work this morning with my husband as well. But super easy. You just take in your blender or food processor some cashews, cocoa powder, um, some um, vanilla protein powder. Like I prefer an egg white. Um, base one and then some dates. You mix it all together, roll it into the balls, even get your kids in there too. Right. It makes about two dozen. You can um, even freeze them if you want to make a bigger batch. Now, the cocoa in there, because at first glance, what these look like are cake balls. Yes. Does it, I mean, does it have that little sweetness to it? It that... does with the dates. Dates are like nature's candy. It's naturally sweet, so it's way better instead of making a big cake. And that's the thing. When, when we hit this time of year and we've overloaded on all the sweets, exactly. you're not going to be able to make a clean break unless you've got something to kind of transition Absolutely. you back into reality. Absolutely. And it's all about planning the night. I made this the night before chia seed pudding. I do it before I go to bed at night. It literally mm -hmm. takes me three minutes. So, and then the other thing I always have on hand is some cauliflower rice. So Riced up, th yep. This is super easy, especially for a dinner at night. I always have frozen veggies in my fr in my freezer as well. So put it all in a pan, stir fry it up. Um, you can add, you know, some scrambled eggs if you want. It's a great way to sneak in more veggies for your kids. Mm -hmm. My kids actually like it, and it's a lot less carbs and calories versus rice. Okay, now I, j just to be clear here. Now, riced cauliflower is not fancy. That just means chopped up into little it's tiny pieces, right? It's just chopped up into tiny little pieces. You can get it pre-made or you can do sure, it yourself. Sure, exactly. The first time I served it to my kids, I said, oh, it's just a weird looking rice. And <laughs> they totally fell for Did it. They buy so, it? Yeah, and we usually add coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. It's less soy, obviously, and a less sodium. And I always make a bigger batch because I can take it to lunch for the next day for work. Now, most of this I know about, but coconut aminos, this is not, so it's like a replacement for it's soy sauce. It's a replacement sauce. for soy sauce. There's so much sodium in it and you kind of feel a little bloated from all the salt afterwards, so it's a great way just to use that instead. All right. Well, I learned something new today. Emily, yeah, thank you so my much. My pleasure. Thanks for having us. You can read her work on Indie Mom's blog, mm -hmm. of course, yes. and um, every week here on Daybreak, try to feature some of the work that they do for us. Lauren, I know you're a fan of this. I am. I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of her. I'm a fan <laughs> of the blog. Yeah, it all works. Thanks, Scott. It's nice.